Do you know what this is? Says Bob. It's a bucket. This is called a bug out bucket. I put this bucket together probably about 12, 12 years ago, I guess. We shall see. Uh, it's a mystery bucket. I don't know what's in it. So it's probably, like I said, been 12 years or so. So I am going to open it up and see what's in there. See if there's <laughs> anything that has gone bad, rotted, opened. I'm sure there's some cans in here and some other dehydrated stuff. I used to dehydrate my own foods or fruits and veggies and things like that. So let's see what we got. The theory is I had to leave the house. I grabbed these buckets and hopefully have things in here that I could survive a few days or whatever. Instead of buying those emergency kits, I kind of made my own. So, first thing you have is some paper plates. They're still in good shape. Everything looks good in there, so that's that's a good sign. But we'll see as we go. A, I guess, wash rag. <laughs> that's a towel. Some foil. A towel. Some baggies, trash sacks, that's pretty cool, oh look, important, <laughs> take the little edge off if you had to bug out, um, let's see if there's a date, no date, why did I not date this stuff, this is a cracker, so I'm going to assume it's bad, <laughs> it's probably really stale, Wow, it's crispy. Let's open it up and see what it's... See. Oh, it's crisp. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> yeah, it's stale. So, let me get that out of here. That's going to go in the trash. We have a little bowl. <laughs> That's kind of crisp. Let me get these out. These never go bad, so I will transfer them hmm, probably to my <laughs> camper. Oh, here's some wine. A Merlot. That looks good. See, this could have exploded and run this whole bucket. So probably not a good idea to put a liquid um, unless they're glass. Like, well, no, those are plastic too. All right, let's see what we got. Some ramen. I don't think those ever go bad, so I will put those in another location. Some Vienna sausages. That still looks good. Let's see if they can see the date. Ah. June 28, 2013. Best Buy date. So, like I said, I probably did this in 2011. Gotta be prepared. Alright, so this is some a apple cinnamon uh, oatmeal. What I should have done is just package some oatmeal in a vacuum back vacuum sealed bag because these flavors are the ones that's gonna probably make it um, not withstand this long term. There's some discoloration. I smell rancid rancid or anything but I'm probably not gonna eat those. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is all. Oh, we have got a leakage. And to tell you, I already opened the other ba uh, bucket. And it is the tomato paste that is leaking. Like that. <laughs> 
because I had it sitting on a can of ranch style beans. So I wasn't sure if it was the beans or the tomato paste, but now I know it's the tomato paste. The tuna's probably good, but I'm just going to trash that whole thing. Right in the trash. What else we got? Okay. I vacuum seal. Okay, this is 2011 macaroni. Macaroni looks good. It lost its seal, though. So, it looks good. I would probably still eat this. This looks like it is a drink bag, yeah. There's some tea in there, some Propel. Um, hazelnut, probably won't drink that. Some Coffee Mate. Um, some of these Emergency. I'm going to open this up. And let's open up one of these and see if there are any gold. Oh, looks good. Smells good. I don't think that those would be a problem. The propelled probably won't be a problem. There's some hot chocolate in there. Lemonade. It's all it's solidified. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't drink that. <laughs> so I'll go through this later. Um That one's kind of solidified, too. So. All right. Let's see what a, this one is. Powdered milk. Well, it's definitely discolored. Packaged June of 2011. Powdered milk. So, that doesn't keep very long. I know that. I don't drink milk anyway, so I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I think I needed that. That goes in the trash. This is a little salt, pepper, garlic, spice kit. That's all still good. These are something I dehydrated. Dehydrated peas. Yeah, those look bad. Those are not dehydrated on June of 2011. Trash. Oh, this is stuffing mix. 2011. I don't know about that. It's a bread. I'll have to open that up and see. But I would kind of might be worried about the the packet. I don't know. It's dehydrated spices. So spices last forever. They might just lose their potency. Potency? But I don't know about that. This one is another <laughs> What is that? Corn. Oh, I dehydrated this in 2010. That's 20 or 12 years old. Yeah, no. I ain't even that. Here's something. Oh, rice aroni. Rice aroni. That didn't look bad. Because that's got rice and like spaghetti or stuff in it. Doesn't look bad. Might hang on to that one. See what it's like. Minestrone. Air Creek. This is all just dehydrated. I'll keep that. Pancake and waffle mix. That goes fine. February 14th, 2012. That's their best buy. Recommended. That's only 10 years old. Looks good. Idaho potatoes. Dehydrated potatoes. I don't know if there's a date. Use best before 2011. 
Glad I never had to bug out and use this, but I had it prepared. Oh, can of sardines. 2013, those are fine. Nothing wrong with those. There's another dehydrated something. White rice. Rice lasts forever. 2011. It's kind of lost. It's not too much. It's kind of lost its vacuum. But I'll eat that. Well, me or Sammy. <laughs> All right. These are one pound of lentils. Those look perfectly fine. I will eat those. Yep. Let's see, salmon. Ready to eat wild salmon. I don't know about this. No refrigeration necessary. And you gotta have spam. Turkey spam. That's fine. Oops. Used by Best Buy December 2013. And look there. Jiffy. Nothing wrong with that. Peanut butter lasts forever. I mean, unless it, unless it um, smells rancid, but Best Buy 2012. Let me try that. I bet it's fine. It's sealed. And a can of ranch style beans. That's fine. Nothing wrong with it either. You know, if they're bulging... Maybe rusted. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it, but there is nothing wrong with that can. Alfredo sauce to go with that macaroni. What else? Cup of soup. Miso cup. <laughs> I'm sure I planned this really well when I did it back in the day. Oh. Some soap. Some soap and some soap. I'm not really sure <laughs> why I have two of these. I don't know what, what's what, but maybe I'll be able to open it up and determine what. Oh, vegetable oil. There you go. I bet that's rancid. And this one's dish soap. There we go. I did label it. Very good. And this one, I'm sure, yeah, this has got short term. Let me open this up. This is a bag, probably, um, make feel good stuff or snacks. Yeah, Cliff Bar. Yeah, I'm not going to eat these. Oh, and I got them on sale. So they were probably old to begin with. 25 cents at Albertson. Yeah, I'm not going to eat these. And these little trail mix bars. And some crayons and some lifesavers. Those are fine. Peppermint. And, oh, no. <laughs> See? There you go. Those aren't good. Uh, yuck. And some craisins. Dehydrated or dried. I bet those are fine. Ah. Well, and there's a crack in the bucket. See, that's not good either. But anyway, wanted to show you <laughs> back in the day when I was preparing for the uncertain times. Um, that's what I got out of that bucket. Not bad. Some of that, I mean, all of, most of this up here is going to be fine. I threw away what I thought would not be good, so that's, that's a lot of meals right there in itself. Let me know in the comments below if you have a bug out bucket. Do you have a bug out bag? Bob, let me know.